Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you some tips and tools on the value of repetition. Pretty much everything I've ever learned from Bob Proctor has been illogical, totally illogical to my analytical brain. And I remember when I started studying with him and he told me that you've got to repeat the same darn thing every single day, I was just like, I thought I'm going to go crazy. And one of my clients starting out uh, thinking into results mentorship process also asked me, do I have to repeat it over and over again? Do I have to do the same lesson over and over again for, for next? two weeks it's crazy do I have to do it on Saturday and Sunday and I was laughing to myself thinking you know what I would love to record something about the value of repetition because so many of us do not understand why am I supposed to learn the same thing or read the same thing over and over again? So I want to share with you a story of Napoleon Hill. When Napoleon Hill went to see Andrew Carnegie, the wealthiest guy in the world, Andrew Carnegie went from complete poverty to becoming the wealthiest guy in the world in his 30s. And what he wanted to do was to pass all this information, how to accomplish the results you desire to the globe. And he wanted to hire a journalist and he met Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill was very average income earner. He didn't earn much. In fact, he actually couldn't even afford to pay hotel stay when he saw Andrew Carnegie. So he was silently praying that Andrew Carnegie will put him up for the night in a hotel. And he actually did. Actually, not in the hotel, he, in his own place. And so when Andrew Carnegie hired Napoleon Hill to observe 500 most successful people in the the world like uh, Thomas Edison, Thomas Jefferson, Henry Ford, Andrew Carnegie himself, 20 years of observation and writing principles of laws of success unpaid, then he wanted to equip Napoleon Hill with a tool, a tool of repetition, because he knew that very quickly Napoleon Hill would be going through self-sabotage. If he doesn't have some support, he will go crazy. And you can imagine, I mean, a guy that earns barely anything and he's meeting the wealthiest guy in the world and basically he just like he is meant to spend 20 years of observation of 500 most successful people in the world unpaid. I mean, most of us would quit after five minutes, not to mention 20 years. So what Andrew Carnegie gave him was the skill of repetition. And he said this, every time you go to the mirror, you're going to say this every morning and every evening, you're going to say, Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to match your achievements in life, but I'm going to surpass them. And when Napoleon Hill started to do that, he went very silent. He went very awkward because he lived with his brother at that time. And he was just like, my brother is going to think I'm, I've gone insane. So he went very silent and very awkward about it, but he kept the repetition. After four days of repeating, what happened was he straightened up and he was like, hold on a second, if Andrew Carnegie is the wealthiest guy in the world and he tells me to do this, why the heck would I not listen? I mean, obviously this guy knows, some, knows something that I don't. So he straightened up and he started speaking out loud, Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to match your achievements in life, but I'm going to surpass them. And here's what happened. This is quite fascinating to know. After two weeks of repeating the same thing over and over in the morning and in the evening, repeating the same affirmation, he started considering maybe this can actually happen. So actually, his subconscious might have been impacted already. And after a month of consistent spaced repetition with emotion, he started believing in it. Now, when you believe in your goal or when you believe in new result that you want to develop or when you believe in new habit that you want to develop, that constant repetition of a mental formula, when you start believing in it at the subconscious level, your body is an instrument of the mind. It has to go into action. And also when information hits your subconscious mind, it produces 98% of ideas, perceptions, opportunities, and actions and results. So it has to move into form. It has to move into action and into formulating your results. So of course, um, Andrew Carnegie may be educated about 100 or 200 millionaires, but Think and Grow Rich, which was written by Napoleon Hill, educated thousands 
or hundreds of thousands of millionaires. So in fact, Napoleon Hill's work surpassed the achievements of Andrew Carnegie. So I wanted to share this story with you because I know a lot of the times we question, why am I supposed to repeat the same darn affirmation, the same goal statement, the same goal in the mirror? Because there is a reason to this madness. And the reason is, impacting your subconscious mind. To be honest, it's not about, success is not about accumulating more knowledge. It's about cr creating habits and creating simple formulas in your mind that your subconscious mind accepts. Because once that happens, your body goes to action, you have to create ideas, you have to come up, up against opportunities, you just have to. It's just subconscious mind is your uh, thermostat. It's like you program thermostat for certain temperature, it has to uh, regulate the temperature to get that result. And you can program your subconscious mind to give you the same thing. Whether this is your goal, whether this is a result, whether this is a habit, constant space repetition with emotion is going to click it at the subconscious level. And at that time, you're going to fly. You're going to move forward towards your results very fast. So I hope that gave you some food for thought. Maybe you are already doing some repetition. And if not, I would highly encourage you to start doing it, whether this is your goal, whether this is short term, a uh, short uh, form of your goal, whether this is long form of your goal, whether this is a habit or result, start doing it. And if you want to test it out in the mirror, you know, some people say that your eyes are the mirror of your soul. Uh, some people say it's the mirror to your subconscious mind. So I would definitely encourage you to test it out and start doing this because auto suggestion works miracles when you speak to your eyes in front of the mirror. So I hope that gave you some food for thought. You will test it out and you will see results. Have a fantastic week. Take care.